So I was putting up some soffit vents today. You can see two of them over there and then two of them right here. I'm going to get a couple more to put in the middle because I didn't space these out as far as I did on the other side. But um, there were some bees, like bumblebees, living in there. And I don't know, it, they made these holes, right? These like perfect tunnels. I mean, look, that one goes straight through. The tunnel is so straight that you can see it. But they, as far as I can tell, like they made these. And I don't know how the heck they did it. I guess they just ate the wood, I guess. But it's just kind of crazy. But I mean, there was one there. There's another one, another one. And when I drilled one of the holes, there was actually a bee in the hole. And it was very, uh, surprisingly not mad. I think it's because it's not very, like yesterday it was like 85 degrees. Today it's only 60. And, uh, so they're, I think they're kind of slow. But see, I put one, I put the ones on this side a lot farther apart. Um, the one down there, there actually was one already, but it's this weird, like, longer mesh thing. So I just put another one over it so that it kind of looks the same from afar off. Because, uh, I wasn't going to try to take it out and then put it back in and who knows what. And yeah, the Miata, if you saw the video yesterday, even more paint has come off since. Um all over the ground birds have been pooping all over it this this is just from the last hour i've cleaned it off like three or four times today they just pretty much sit up there all day and it's kind of i like trees a lot but i don't like it when birds sit in them and crap all over my car um but yeah that was just interesting um let's see can you you can kind of see down there past the ladder, I think. You can kind of see, like, there's a bunch of holes. Those are all, like, B entrances. Same thing right there, which it's kind of dark. I don't know. But whatever. There's a bunch of them there, too. But they're not in the actual attic, as far as I can tell. So I'm not too concerned. They've been there since I moved in almost three years ago, so... Unless they start going in the attic, I'm not going to worry about it, but I ended up buying a uh, jigsaw so I could cut these because by reciprocating saw, it was kind of ridiculous to try to use that. And then my really small circular saw wasn't actually, the blade wasn't big enough to cut through the whole thing. Um, and it was just puking sawdust all over my face, which is why I'm actually wearing safety glasses or goggles, whatever you want to call them. Um, I wish I had a face mask because I ended up eating about 10 pounds of sawdust, but there was nothing I could do about that. Yeah, this one also doesn't have any holes in it from bees, but you can see I used a half inch drill bit on the ends to make the holes for the saw to go through. But it's nice to have that saw I got, um... I got a, like a 13 pack variety bit thing that came with these, like they call them like an ugly blade, and I just used those because I didn't care what these holes, or yeah, what these cuts looked like because I was just going to cover them up with the soffit vent things, so I did not care, but um, that's it I guess. That, I just wanted to be like, hey, there's bees living inside of these boards. and They're drilling perfectly circular holes that are almost perfectly straight. Oh, none of the ones on this side, yeah. The first one I tried using, like, a, the hole saw that I used on the Miata to make the hole for my intake. And that was just horrible. Because I needed a bigger hole for the reciprocating saw because the blade is, like, three times as big as the one on the uh, jigsaw. But now it's done. I just have to get like two more for the other side of the house probably at some point, but it's starting to drizzle out here, so I'm going to put things away and be done. I've been working on stuff since like 9am, so I feel like I accomplished enough.